Hi, I'm Congressman Mark Bocan. Uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about trade and what vote uh, happened in Congress this week uh, because I know there's been a lot of talk about votes last week and this week around the Fast Track proposal, uh, the Trade Promotion Authority, TPA it's also known as, and uh, what that means for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement and what that means for things like trade adjustment assistance. Uh, a lot of acronyms thrown out there. Uh, bottom line is the TPP is the Trans-Pacific Partnership. It's the biggest trade deal we've probably ever entered into 40% of the world's gross domestic product. Congress hasn't had any involvement, nor has the public in the drafting. 600 people have, uh, largely corporate CEOs, uh, in private. And uh, for Congress to give up fast-track authority, that's saying that the president would have the sole authority to finalize the deal. Uh, Congress, which is required by the Constitution to have authority, would give up its right to amend, would limit the amount we can debate, and we would be giving this authority for the next, uh, really, six years under other presidents for other trade deals. Uh, so we were fighting the fast track proposal because it would shut the public out via shutting out members of Congress from the ability to amend any trade deal with what's in it. Uh, we had a vote last week where we voted, uh, it, the vote was split in two ways. The Trade Promotion Authority, the Fast Track Authority, narrowly passed, but the Trade Adjustment Assistance that was part and parcel of the legislation passed by a pretty big number, over 300 people voted against it. Uh, what that did is it brought another vote up this week to just send out the Trade Promotion Authority, uh, but that passed today, again, by a narrow margin, to go back to the Senate, but ultimately we have to have the two bills combined with a clean trade adjustment assistance, a clean trade promotion authority for it to actually go to the president's desk to be signed. So our job right now is to make sure that the Senate does all they can to protect American workers and American jobs and try to uh, hold uh, and do what they can to try to get sure, uh, make sure that we have good clean bill coming to back to the House. Uh, that we can ultimately have uh, the people uh, have a voice in what this trade agreement is. It's not done yet. Uh, there's still many steps to go. Uh, it has gone through a couple of hurdles uh, on the congressional side, and we're going to continue to do everything we can to fight the fast track authority to make sure that we retain our ability to amend it, to debate it, and to make sure that we have protections for workers, for the environment, uh, that we have things like uh, the investor state dispute settlement uh, process, which is tribunals uh, for multinational corporations, doesn't affect our sovereignty, that we have food safety, we have uh, all sorts of other things that are included. We want to be able to retain that authority. That's what we're fighting towards, and uh, we'll keep you posted on how that moves forward in the coming weeks. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helped explain uh, the process just a little bit.